shooting athletes that are on the team right now because I believe that it's only out for all that happened in the last five years. I don't know. start we just start whenever you know ain't no lights camera action we just action what's good everybody uh once again back with another podcast it's your boy jc williams uh the videographer uh so today i'm here with another one of the athletes another one of the student athletes that i know uh San Jose State University, we go way back. <laughs> way back we back in the day, no, I'm swearing. <laughs> but I'm here with my girl, Sarah Mostella. Mostella. Mostella, fuck. It's okay, a lot of people don't get it right. Mostella, Mostella. Mostella. Stella, nonetheless. <laughs> well, I'm here with Sarah. Uh, Sarah, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Sarah. I'm a long sprinter on the track team, two to four, the relays. Um, I'm just excited to be here. We're here very early, but it's good. How many of these have you done? Two. I'm, so I'm the third. You're the third. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay, let's Technically, it depends on when this come out and how <laughs> good it looks. If this one look better, this might be the first one. <laughs> If it come out. <laughs> this, be- this better come out. It, it should. It should. I'll be having problems with the focus. I'll be trying to, I'll be looking at it like, I don't know. Like, I should have did that differently. But I didn't shot like four versions of this podcast, testing it out. And uh, one of them just got canceled. With yeah. who? Who you think? Oh. I'm going to assume Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker. If you watching this, if you see this, we need to have another. We gonna sit down again, but that first one was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Plus, we didn't have a, a nice setup like this, so I had to get right. But yeah, we back. Uh, we gonna be talking about, you know, uh, life in general, sports, you know, entertainment, media, how we doing, and uh, you know, just how we living life today as it is in you know, 2023, and just making it happen as you know, young adults. Most of us is, you know, coming up right now. We ain't got our stake or claim, but we are gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, uh, yeah, Sarah, just like talk to me about, like, you know, uh, let, let's let's start from let's start from year one. <laughs> Sarah got she got to air out her grievances. Oh my gosh, are we really getting into it? Yeah, um, yeah we gonna start from year one. What what was like? Shoot, let's take it back. Like, let's go back to before I was doing like the sports documentation. Like, uh, you came in during COVID. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, that was so weird because you go from like track being like supporter based and like everyone kind of really supports you, but it was empty. The stands were empty. Parents would be like in the parking lots. It was just so weird. It didn't even feel like a real like college season. Um, but I mean, I guess we did it. Uh, they were just they were throwing me in everything. Just like why am I on the four by one? And I'm a <laughs> and I'm a four hundred meter runner. But I'm glad it's over with. Um, the coaches, if you know, you know. The program in terms of like coaching and just everything. Everything was revamped, and um, thank goodness for Coach Ernie, because you know Coach Ryan, he really took the reins, and I mean, I am not one of his favorites. I mean, coaches say they don't have favorites, but I'm not up there, and that's fine, but um, it was a very hard adjustment, um, to say the least. It was very hard, and that first year with Coach Ryan, would not redo ever again. 
It was a hard year. It was a very hard year. Yeah. And if you have watched the Adversity series, I'm sure you know. You probably won't see me that much. And if you're wondering why. Oh, man. You know? Shoot. <laughs> I, hey, first of all, we, I had to put Sarah on camera sometimes, but I'm like, you know, she kind of quiet. Like, I can't tell what's going on. I was literally, I don't even know the word, fighting demons when I was going through the worst time of my life. You was going through adversity. I was, I was going through literally. adversity for real. Oh, damn. Like, for real, I was going through adversity. <sighs> damn, that's, yeah. We was all going through it. Like, 2020 was a very adverse year for a lot of us. And, you know. It's, it's just, you know, you got to push through it. You got to find a way through it. Uh, and it's just, you know, that's just life in general, you know. It is, but I also think it's very different when um, people who are supposed to be supporting you, like, put you in certain positions. Um, yeah. Because they, they want to talk about adversity in terms of, like, injuries and um, the typical – student athlete balance, but like there's more real things that go on. Like there's real like yeah, yeah, yeah. real no, stuff real. going on and like you do a really good job I think of showing everyone's story but people don't even know. Yeah. Like, it's it's more than the typical like student athlete things like no like as individuals adversity for real. Like yeah. that was a good name because I <laughs> no, that was a good name. You want to know how I came up with it? How? Okay. Damn, it's a long story. Get ready to learn about some <laughs> JC sh- for the first time on camera. If it come out. Oh, I was playing. But, <laughs> yo, shit. I'm not playing. If this don't come out, I'm going to drop it myself. It's going to be on my phone. She going to drop it herself. I don't know how she going to drop it, but she going to find a way. I'm going to give Sarah the, the SD card. She gonna look over the foot. She gonna be like, mm, "Why I look like that?" <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that shit crazy. Um, it, it basically, adversity came from uh, okay, so twenty twenty, and then going back into my background. So I had grown up doing doing sports in the Bay too. So I was doing track, football, shit, everything under the sun, baseball. Uh, and I even tried a little basketball. I should not have done that at a basketball school. Mm. It was it was cool, but you know, <laughs> I wasn't really a basketball player. I was just doing it so I could stay conditioned. Mm-hmm. I could have did more track. But rewind back to um, high school. I was doing track. I wanted to take it serious. I always wanted to run, do sports in, in college. And I was running my freshman year, uh, and I remember like pulling like my hamstring during that time, and it was that was nothing. But I came back a, a year later, and my second year I had pulled my hip flexor for the first time. So I was like, "Damn, like this is I'm, I'm young, like I'm tripping, yeah. like ain't ain't nothing wrong with me." And, and my coach during that time was always like, "You got to fight through the pain, and you know." It's, it's some things that, you know, Coach Ryan has said that I was like, that sounds like my, my older coach, so I related to that. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I bet. Like, I'm just going to keep going. Went, did physical therapy, did some, um, I guess you could say, uh, I, I went and got healed, I guess, during that time. Uh, and I felt like, oh, I'm going to be all right. Like, it's going to heal over time. Like, I'm, I'm young you know, and it should be no problem. So fast forward to my like senior year of high school, like I was still going, I did full full seasons of football, never missed a practice, never missed out on a game. And we had a pretty like great season. Like we had gone, we were predicted to go one and nine and we went like, I think it was eight and four and made it all the way to the championships. Tough season, if you remember 2018. <laughs> if you remember 2018, 2018, it was the year with the fires. Oh, so, okay. yeah, like we had, our football season was extended for like 
four to six plus weeks. And um, before we got to the championship, we had an additional three weeks of playoffs and then additional three weeks of bye weeks because there was the fires during that time. So we had we had 10 <laughs> weeks of football plus another three weeks, plus another three weeks of playoffs, plus a gap period, like a bye week, and then a football game for the championship. So that was like eight to nine weeks of football. So like 20 plus weeks of football. And mind you, I have been running track, doing football and everything. And uh, I remember during that season, my hip flexor kept bothering me and everything. And a lot of athletes got this injury. But if you know, like your hip flexor, it's something that you can't like touch, but the doctors have to go in and like, like see what's going on. But at the time, I didn't know. Like, I was just like, I guess I'm feeling the same thing I felt since I was a sophomore. Yeah. Ain't, ain't no problem. I ain't, I'm just gonna keep going. So play that season, lose the championship. Oh my God, I just, flashbacks. I'll, I'll be having flashbacks to that shit. Lose championship, play that game, and then we get to um, my first year of college, and this is like right before COVID, uh, literally a year, like a semester, damn near. Not even a semester because I was in, um, I was in my first year, and we had one full length, like you know, of college, and then when I came back from uh, winter break like everything kind of like shut down and yeah. fell apart after that. So I wanted to come here and do track, if anything, and then work my way towards football. I uh, ended up not being able to uh, do that because initially I was told that I couldn't run for the team and I wanted to try out the coach, the original coach, not coach Ryan. Mm -hmm. The original coach was like, yeah, you, you can't run for the team. Like, you, you're gonna have to get your numbers up. And I'm like, okay, bet. Like, I, I get it. Like, during that time, you know, my numbers wasn't always, I guess you could say, uh, to that point. So I figured, yeah, I can I can run unattached. I, I can do what I need to do. Mm -hmm. If that, you know, worst comes to worst, telling me I can't, you know, try out or whatnot. So I was planning on running unattached and doing that. But during COVID, there was nowhere to run. And there was nowhere to, to like compete. So I'm like, damn, like, where am I gonna, how long am I gonna have to wait before I can run again? Or, you know, uh, matter of fact, what's going on with my hip? Because I'm still like, I'm in my sophomore year of college mm -hmm. and I'm like still messing with, my hip is still like really getting on my nerve. I don't know if you remember, but we was practicing with Aiden uh, and we was running up and down like not Cedar Savas Plaza, but the Tower Hall going towards yeah. Martin Luther King. Yeah. Wait, you were there? That was me, if you remember. That was me. Uh, I didn't have a, the braids yet, but. Do you remember me? Yeah. You remember me? Yeah. That was like the first time when you and Gabby like stepped out onto campus yeah. and was running up and down, and I was with y'all. So I was trying to keep up, and I was with Aiden. We, it was me, oh Aiden. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. Yeah, it was me, Aiden, you, Jalen, and Gabby, and I was trying to keep up. And I think I came to like the second one that y'all was doing, and I was like, "Oh shit! Like my shit hurt. Mm -hmm. Like it's bad. Like I'm limping." And I'm like, "I've been feeling this, mind you. I've been feeling this since I was sophomore high school, and then my senior year of college. I mean, senior year of high school, I was feeling this during the football season. Couldn't really run my senior year of track." Uh, and it just continued. And it's like a phantom, like a hip flexor, well, injury in that is like a phantom pain where it like disappears mm -hmm. and then it comes okay. back. And the only way for you to understand or gauge when you know, you're know you okay or not is to like go all out and try to like constantly, consistently work out and run. So I got to the point where I'm like, I gotta call dad, like this ain't good. So I called him, I'm like, yo, like we gotta go to the hospital. And I went to the hospital and they said, yeah, so you're like, how long you been hurt? I'm like, I guess since like my sophomore year of high school. And they was like, yeah, you, uh, you tore your like ligament, the muscle between your labrum and your hip, you tore that. That's, it's been torn. 
and you you say you've been running since like your sophomore year of high school, right? And that's the initial. And I'm like, yeah, but I went in, I went to physical therapy for that. And it was like, yeah, but if that's when it happened, then that's when it happened. If that's the same consistent pain you've been having, you know, you tore it. So uh, they put me through the MRI, scanned me. They did this crazy thing where they put like the little, uh, it's like paint in order for you to see like what's going on in that region. It felt like a golf ball was being put into my hip. That shit was crazy. But they put that in and they, they saw it. It was like, okay, so you got three options. You can get, uh, if you're going to have tryouts, because that year it was COVID, right? And nobody knew if there was going to be tryouts, mm -hmm. if he was walking on whatever. And I was told, like, if you want to try out, we can give you these, like, like techni technically steroids to say, hey, like, it'll take the pain away. And then, like, you can keep running, but it's not going to heal you technically, but you'll make it. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, that's kind of real. Like, this is this is getting real for a second. So I'm like, all right, uh, what else is there? Uh, it was like, you can get the surgery, but it'll take you out for, like, the next six to eight weeks. And then you'll have to do physical therapy to get back up to strength and by that time I'm thinking oh shit I might be a senior like yeah. <laughs> I might be a senior by that point and it was like yeah you can do that or you can do like P I think it was called PRP or PIP where they take white blood cells from a different region of your body and then put it back into your like that area or that region and uh try to like heal you naturally over time so I'm like oh Damn, okay, like, it's it's kind of like I'm going to have to do, like, a reevaluation of, like, yeah. everything now because now I'm being told that I haven't been right since I was a sophomore in high school. First of all, I was 15, 16, like, I had hip problems in, in high school. Like, damn, like, yeah. that's hard. Like, you know, if you, if you run, if you do, like, uh, D1 sports, you kind of know that there's a little bit of a genetic – aspect you know you got to be strong in order to do certain things so i'm evaluating that covid going on the family problems the uh whatever relationships is going on and it's just like all this stuff is happening at this point in time yeah. so i'm like whoa this is crazy like because i always thought optimistically like oh yeah i'm gonna keep working like you know, I'm gonna go out, do what I gotta do on my own. And then I said, damn, this is a lot. So 2020, I made a decision. I'm like, okay, I, I can keep going down this path or I can decide to like pivot and try to do this, you know, take control of the situation mm -hmm. as much as I can. And I just didn't see control happening based on me like continuing to, you know, do the sport yeah. itself. So I, I said, all right, well, it's time to double down on this <laughs> this film because yeah. you know if you come into college doing film or you know doing this you got to understand like you got to get it your own way you don't technically have to go to college for it but there are resources that can push you in position that may or may not be there's no guarantees but when you go you you got to understand that you know you got to use your time and resources here because there are some there there are some uh depending on where you go uh so i said you know what this is something that I got in mind. I had already known people on the track team for a minute as the first year. And uh, yeah, like I just came to the conclusion where I was like, okay, I got this camera. I feel like I can do something with it. I'm gonna decide to go out here. Let me propose this to the new coach that's coming in. Like new coach Ryan was coming in. So I'm like, let me reach out to him. Let me see what he say. Worst case scenario, he like, who the f are you? like? <laughs> Like, who are you? Like, mm -hmm. and I don't get a chance, but he, he gave me a chance. And he was like, you ain't got no work to back it up, but I want to see what you can do. You can go ahead, come out if you want. And he gave me a chance. And I said, all right, uh, I'm going to take this as serious as possible. And then uh, I, I like sat in my car. I'm like, what's this going to be called? Like, okay, Speed City. Yeah. Speed City. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, Speed City kind of cool, but like, there's another school that kind of took the name and did their own thing with it a couple of years ago. So I was like, they kind of took that. 
and we still have it, but that kind of goes back to another legacy. Uh, and I was like, does that legacy kind of fit right now? Like, as to what's going on, there's a lot of stuff going on, even with the original athletic department. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, like there's a lot of that and there's a lot of transitioning and trying to figure it out, a lot of obstacles. Ooh, obstacles. Ooh, there's a lot of misfortune on your end. <laughs> misfortune is crazy. <laughs> there's a lot of difficulties at play. I'm like, mm, nah, don't, don't do it. And I was thinking like adversity adversity mm -hmm. it just kept coming up i'm like that's the one and that's it, it and be be honest with you i was like no nah, i don't want to do that like i don't want to it's like adversity is such a negative word to an extent too because it means like difficulty yeah. dif difficulties and misfortune so i'm like it's got to be something better like so i'm thinking of like other names and i i just sat there and, and i was like man i'm gonna do it I'm gonna name this adversity because it's got the university in it. Ooh, you heard, don't even think you about it. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got university. I didn't think about that. We had a university with a lot of different trials and tribulations mm -hmm. from the past, the present, and the future. Wow. Ooh, that shit crazy, yeah, huh? Right. This you got goosebumps. Like, oh. Now you get it. Now it's good. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> no. But I started thinking about all this, all this stuff, even my own personal stuff, because I was trying to be a student athlete. Mm -hmm. And then, like, scary thing. So, I think my my senior or my junior year, mm -hmm. it's hard. I was like coming up with different stuff. Like, uh, shout out to Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. That's one of my uh, idols growing up. Just because not. Not so much because of the basketball, but just his mentality. So I wrote Mama Mentality on the uh, mirror. But next to that, I was like, man, what's my own thing? Like, I'm. And then I wrote, and I remember, I'm like, and it's still on the mirror today. I wrote, adversity is a blessing. And I said, okay, what is that? Like, sounds okay, I guess. And I was just thinking, like, you know, all the, the trials, tribulations, they, it just makes you who you are and teaches you. I wrote that when I was a senior in high school and then fast forward to now, I'm like, adversity. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I'm gonna be doing now. So that's kind of where the name came from and it translated and kind of manifested itself because I almost came up with, you know, I could have went with any name, but I just said, I'm just gonna make it uh, this. And it's just, you know, that's just our the, our lifestyles in general. Yeah. You know, you got a lot of stuff your, yourself that you got to go through in order to get to that point. Yeah. And a lot of athletes, you know, can, can understand, like, where that is coming from. So that's how I came up with the name, damn near. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully more people watch the series and then we mm -hmm. turn this into something. And then this come out and then people like, oh, that's how he came up with it. <laughs> okay. Right by him. Oh, it's 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 it